this video we are going to see how to create a servlet in java and use jdbc to transfer the data that we have collected to the database so for this the very first step is to create the required database and create a table then we will create a html form to receive the data and then serve let to transfer that data into the database using something called as jdbc that is java database connectivity the database that we are using is mysql so in mysql database the very first thing we need to do is to create a database in this case the first question that we have is use create a registration servlet which has the field username password email and country so let us create the database create database database name i am creating the database employee for employee registration now use the database so use employee now creating the table so create table table name I am creating the table user. Now, in the user table, I will have following fields. So the first field is username. Varchar of twenty five. Second is password. varchar of 8 because we are going to give 8 digit password then you can check what was our next field it was email and country so email again varchar i'm giving 35 comma country I'm giving twenty. Semicolon. Enter. Okay. There is an error. The error is very simple to solve. I forgot to write var char over here. So that's it. The table is created. Now what we will do is we will create a project first, then a HTML file, and then a servlet file. So let us start working on it. The database part for this particular practical is done. So I am just going to create a new project. I am giving the name as insert data. Glassfish server already selected. No need to select any framework. Just click on finish. Okay, and this is what I call as registration form. Now, in this, you will create a form and you will write the code to take the input of all the details that we have. We need to insert into the database. So, basically, this is the code that I am writing. There is no need of method post over here. we are going to create employee app servlet so let us create a servlet now new servlet giving the servlet name package is demo insert next very important add information to the deployment descriptor and finish now clean your servlet as always very important to know how to clean your servlet copy this print writer from here 
paste it over here okay now what code I am going to write I am going to take all the parameters from the user which the user has entered in index.html so what I am writing is string username request.get parameter same way for password same way for email and same way for the country when these, once these four things are done we go on to write the database code now database code is same everywhere you just have to change your query over here okay in uh, inserting marks using uh, ejb we had seven values so seven question marks and seven set int or set string methods here we have only four values so only four question marks and four set string methods because the entire data we have is varchar if the data is int then set int if the data is double then set double okay so basically over here they are showing you cannot find the symbol connection or cannot find the symbol prepared statement a very common error how to solve it very simple just import java dot sql dot asterisk semicolon okay the error will get solved fine one last thing that is remaining is to add the jar file which is necessary for database connector so this is the jar file that is necessary just open it and it will get added in your libraries you can see that it is added over here now run your code and see if it is working data has been inserted successfully you can go in mysql and you can check select asterisk from user you can see the data is added that's it in this particular practical